If you want a voice that has more beauty, more intensity, shine and excitement, whether loud or soft, you need ring. I'm going to show you how to get it. A voice without ring is dull. Welcome back to another edition of Victoria's Victorious Vocal Tips. 29 years of teaching voice, 41 years of studying voice, all different styles. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics, resonance and specifically ring. Ring gives your voice more carrying power, beauty, clarity of tone, and gives you that piercing cut that carries over an orchestra without amplification or over a band, even with microphones. In other words, this is not just for opera singers. This is for all singers. Ring gives you that boost, that cut that no other instrument has. Ring is sometimes called ping, point, squillo, squillante, the singer's foreman, nasal resonance. Note, this is not nasality. Nasality is an entirely different subject. I'm going to give you five different exercises that will help you develop ring. And remember, different exercises work for different people. So it's important for you to try all of them. If you want to know more about the three elements that make up great singing, including resonance, be sure to follow the links below this video. Okay, it's time for our exercises to develop ring. And we're going to start with one of my favorite exercises, the siren, both spoken and sung. We've done this many times on other videos. I do this in my beginning voice classes all the way through my experienced seasoned professionals because everybody gets it. What is a siren? A siren is loud, it's clear, it's piercing, and it's bright. So. Right in place, I'd like you to just imitate a loud siren, like a fire siren or an ambulance like this. Oh! Notice the throat feels nice and open. You're going from your low all the way up to your upper range and everything feels nice and comfortable and you've got that piercing ring. Let's do it again. Oh! Men might be down here. Oh! Great. You can start from top to bottom and go down. Oh, oh. Or start from the bottom, go all the way up and come back down again. Oh, great. And the throat feels nice and free. And if you notice, this is a lot of sound without a lot of vocal effort. Why? Because we are hooked up to our body. We've got our anchor and support and we have that intense ring, which you probably feel as a ping and a zing in the bridge of the nose and in the cheekbones. Now, we can sneak some singing into that, like this. Oh, 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 oh. Good, just sirening through your voice with ease, and a lot of that intensity that makes people sit up in their chairs. Once you get that feeling of that siren, that freedom and that ring and ping and bell-like quality, then you can apply it to your singing, which we will do in a few minutes. Now, this may be new for some of you if you're used to singing exactly the way you speak. Remember, we don't sing exactly the way we speak. If we do, singing is very limited. You won't have a very big range, you won't have a lot of vocal dynamics, and you won't have as much fun. Singing without ring is dull. Watch my video on Develop Your True Voice. Next, we come to one of the greatest exercises some people consider the granddaddy of all exercises for ring, and that's NG. Mmm, you've probably seen lots of videos on this and heard about it, but unfortunately, many singers do NG wrong. And if that's the case, it does more harm than good. So I'm going to show you how to do it correctly. 
I will also give you some other alternatives. So first I would like you to say the word sung and hold the NG. Sung. Okay. Not this, not sung. It's not a vowel. No. I want you to hold the NG. Sung. Good. And it will sound like a mosquito, like an alien, maybe like the Twilight Zone. Sung. Okay. Great. You will notice that on NG, mm, the tongue is forward, tip of the tongue behind your bottom front teeth, tongue is always wide, and the middle of the tongue is arched to make the NG, not the back of the tongue. This is where a lot of people don't get it right, and they go, sung, and all that does is closes the throat and makes the larynx jump up. That's not what we want. Sung. Great. Now, we're going to sing that on a pitch like this. Sung. And you're aiming for that piercing bell-like quality. You can hear your voice in the room and you should also be very sensitive to what your voice feels like as you sing. If you're doing this correctly, you probably feel a lot of ring and ping in the bridge of the nose and in the cheekbones. How about down here? Sung. How about up here? Sung. Great. This works at any dynamic, loud or soft. Now, we're going to take NG and we are going to open to a vowel, but listen please or else you will do it wrong. Okay? When we sing NG, the palate, the soft palate in the back is low. Sung. And if you close your nose, sung, no sound will come out, okay? But when we open to a vowel, we have to open up around that ring. So that soft palate has to arch again like the beginning of a yawn, okay? So we get this, sung, ah, not sung, ah. If you close your nose while you're singing, and the sound stops, or you get an entirely different sound, then you know you're nasal. Like this. This is nasal. Sung. Okay, that's not what we want. Let's do a few more. So we're going to go from sung to ah. Make sure when you open to the ah, your throat opens and is nice and free. Sung. Always going for that bell like clear piercing quality. Let's do it softly. Sung. Ah. How about up here? Sung. Ah. Great. Now you can continue this exercise going from sung to each of the five singing vowels. I will demonstrate. Sung. Ah. Sung. Remember, ring brings your voice to life. I promised you an alternative in case NG is difficult for you. Okay? And the alternative I like is nya, like this. Nya. So we're getting that same ring and ping. Nya. How about down here? Nya. Not this. Yeah, yeah, no, there's no ring and ping. That's not very exciting. My goal is to have every tone with ring as my default. There are different degrees of ring. Now, this is another topic. This depends upon what sound you want. Sometimes we want more ring for more intensity. Sometimes we want less ring for less intensity. Sometimes we want no ring if we want a chatty, talky sound. So I will demonstrate in different styles because you know how much I love to do that. Here's no ring. Oh, come on, folks. Gray skies are gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. Very chatty, 
talky, no ring. Next, varying degrees of ring. Looking out on the morning rain, I used to feel so uninspired. You make me feel like a natural woman. You make me feel. I told you, this is for all styles. Oh, mio bambino caro, mi piace bello. What's love got to do with it? Woohoo! Ring gives the voice beauty, emotion, intensity, and life. It's what gives people the goosebumps. It will also help unify your entire voice. If you have not received my free ebook, Victoria's Victorious Quick Fix Vocal Tips, 25 vocal tips that make an immediate difference, be sure to follow the directions and sign up right below this video and you'll get your copy right away. I hope you have enjoyed another edition of Victoria's Victorious Vocal Tips. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me some comments, leave me some thumbs up, and keep ringing, singing, and I'll see you again very soon.